morning, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Diesel's making his way to the ring with such confidence. That is the look of a fighter who knows exactly what tonight's outcome will be. for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Teddy, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher, but if you're one of the two trainers, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I can be a little bit better on defense, my power's not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. He comes back with the left hand again. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Wow, what an uppercut. Headshot lands with the hook. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Come on, kid. Focus. Black Mamba's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Bell scoring with that right hand. As we come to the All end right. of the round, on, let's finish this. Joe and Teddy with you, Ringside. Going. Teddy, that's Keep one of those going. rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Carries that punch away. Diesel's right hand scores well. Step back counter punch there. Black Mamba's proving to be elusive. Diesel's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Now let's go. Jab by Diesel. Good block there by Black Mamba. Halfway through this round. Diesel's punch didn't come close. Bell's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Diesel. Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Well, you go straight back, and you're gonna pay a price. He paid a big one there. Excellent jab by Diesel. And clips of the talk. Let's 
Three minutes gone by in this round. Diesel's attitude of being effective and aggressive worked out well. His opponent is damaged. And an excellent uppercut by Bell. There he is zoning in, the old one-two. Good defense is covering up down low. Keep it going. Well, you can see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. More punches. Move your head. Up top with the right hand. Way to block there. Forceful jab by Diesel. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Able to dismiss that body shot. Committing up top now, he goes there again. Diesel's got a cut around his eye. Looks to be below his eye. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Diesel's right hand scores well that time. Now this is exactly what I love out of offensive fighter Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. Keep but just stand. good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Diesel. What? And round three beautiful. comes to an end. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Nice work on the inside. Good job. Keep that up. Throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Well, with three rounds complete here, it's worth a look at Teddy's scorecard to see where he sees it. Based on what we're seeing here tonight. Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, well, no, actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. To the head he goes with a left hand. Diesel is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Solid uppercut. Okay. Diesel's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Scored well up top. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Good doubling up of the jab by Diesel. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Nice work, nice work! Diesel's gotta be feeling the impact of that uppercut. Double jab, double jab! Nice work on the right hand by Diesel. Bell's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Good exchange, he fires back. It's hard to believe that at this late stage of the fight, both men are able to give as much as they are giving. This is how you find out where somebody is free. This is where you find out where Back somebody is special and does extraordinary things by pushing them to a difficult place. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Diesel. Here's one for you now, he 
Sanchez right back with the left hand. Black Mamba's on the bad end of a very impressive Listen, hook up top. You need Bell's to move your head from side to side, okay? I want to see that head move he won. more. We haven't said that about previous yeah, rounds, but that one clearly, head clearly and I you'll think beat he won. The punch. Yeah, he made some adjustments. You know, his attitude is a little bit better. He's more aggressive. But, you know, you can be more aggressive and you can lose the rounds even bigger because now you're walking into more punches. He's making adjustments. He's starting to move his head a little bit. He's starting to pick up certain opportunities from counters. He's starting to look like a smarter fighter now. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Black Mamba. Landing two jabs by Pell. Black Mamba's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. There's another left hand from him. Diesel's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Great work offensively landing that combination by Black Mamba. Diesel's winning these middle rounds here, and he's doing so with infighting. And that's exactly what he envisioned when this fight started. He wasn't sure he was going to get it, but this is what he was hoping he would get. He's happy right now. Super two-punch combo by Diesel. Bell's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. And now another left. work with that flush overhand right. Very accurate two-punch combo by Bell. Solid left hand to the head. And we come to the end of the round. Diesel's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Scores with the uppercut. Black Mamba's movement really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Diesel's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gets probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Good job with another left hand. Diesel's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when the guy's elusive, like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten the punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Diesel. Diesel's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Diesel. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. One, two. His right hand working well that time. He scored well. Final ten seconds of the sixth round. He tried to nap him up top, but was unable to connect. 
Diesel's taking a rest between rounds here, and as he does, it gives us a chance to look at the fight overall, because I think now that what you have is a good, really strong, evenly matched fight that he's up on. Yeah, I think so, but he shouldn't think that. You know, it's okay for us to think that, and his trainer, more importantly, shouldn't let him think that. He should tell him, this is where a little psychology 101 might come in. You know, I don't say you tell him you're behind, but you say, hey, it's a dead even fight with the rest of these rounds. Yeah. Gotta try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Diesel's gotta be really careful there, Teddy. I mean, he's leaving himself wide open. And what's gonna happen next? Right? You know, he's leaving himself open. He hasn't paid for anything yet, but that will be coming before you know it. That's the one to see. There he is on the inside, doing well. In and out, in and out. Comes right back with some offense of his own. At the halfway point of round seven. What an excellent two-punch combo by Diesel. Comes right back with a shot of his own. That is boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Diesel. You're not supposed to pace yourself. Pull the trigger on that overhand left. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Move! And round seven comes to an end. This is anybody's fight. Here we are, the start of round number eight. Teddy, you've got him up slightly, but I don't know. I'm watching this fight, and I think at any moment it could turn. Yeah, this is like in the old days, you know, the corner might break off one of those emoji captions, one of those smell swords, you know, in the nose of a guy. Pick him up a little bit, bring him down the whole stretch. Hey, you can't use those anymore, but you can use some stern, strong work. Get going. Come on, pick it up a little bit. Don't sleep now. Protecting his head well with his guard. Scores big with the hook to the head. the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Diesel's jab is now carrying this fight for him from the outside. Yeah, because the jab is carrying the fight. You know, it all starts with that jab. And right now, that jab is leading the way. Solid right by Diesel. Diesel's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. He missed with that headshot. with the left hand it was sudden it was fast it was direct by diesel Keep doing what you're doing. bell showing that he's got some defense of his own he got away from that punch he got hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by bell hooks on the inside <laughs> And now he's targeting upstairs. Bell's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Crashes home with the uppercut. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them. 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. 
Black Mamba's now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in a rainstorm with an umbrella, and all of a sudden the wind's coming, and the rain's coming from the side, and you're standing there under the umbrella and saying, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. You're not always protected. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Diesel. Walks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Diesel's now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. And that's some fine work right there by Bell. Uppercut and it worked. And that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Diesel. Diesel's doing well here with that two punch combination. And he returns on that exchange. They meet up one more time. The last round has arrived. Side to side. Nice job doubling nice. up the jab by Diesel. Protect the midsection. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Miss the body shot. And bang and away he goes. Bells down. It was a piercing combination that put him on the floor. Well, you stand in front of your man too long, not doing anything. That's what's going to happen. So now the question becomes after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been caught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. We're gonna find out right now. He needs them right now. Close the jam. Good work, toe to toe there. Both fighters got in on him. He's punching away, even though he's been stunned. There's the combo to the body. Some fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap there, he let him in beautifully. He didn't use G, he used this. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now on his side. That's why you can't let go of that steering wheel when you're driving. You know, all of a sudden, bang, you're in the back seat. You're not in the front seat. You're not in the driver's seat anymore. Bell's being damaged right now. Punch after punch is coming in. Diesel's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Bell's banged by a right. Did you see that? Can he get up from there? He's done it before. But can he get up from a second time down? Who would have ever thought it with two guys like this, brawlers, punchers, that they would go to a decision? This was a sure and steady effort by Diesel tonight, and it earns him a unanimous...